Hello and welcome or welcome back to my channel when the stars aligned. My name is Kelly Rowland and this video is about astrocartography. In particular, what line can you go to to receive and step into a bigger vision for your life? We are living in such wild, crazy, beautiful times. There is inevitably more chaos and destruction on the planet than arguably ever. However, there is also more miraculous, like awe-inspiring experiences and stories as well with what's possible with the internet and art and creativity and innovation and evolution. And I believe we all have a seed of genius in us. I believe we all have the potential to dream a big dream for our life. However, the environment we're in, the kind of influence we're surrounded by can either really support and amplify and help us clarify that vision for our life or it can draw away from it and kind of derail us from it or suppress that bigger vision dreamer within us. And I work with astrocartography with my clients. I help people understand the places on the planet where they will thrive in their career, in their business, in their art, in their healing, in their health, in their love. It is such a phenomenal art. And there's one line in particular that I really want to talk about. And there's a second component. I'm going to add in a bonus element here because it's not just about the line. It's also about your unique chart, what you're going through in life, what transit you might be in. So I have been to this line that I'm about to talk about twice. And both of the times I have stayed on this line, I stepped into a much bigger vision for my life. And it's not that I haven't done that kind of thing outside of that line, but I can hands down say that the two times I have lived on or visited these lines, it was like a monumental difference in the level of ease and the level of inspiration and also in the level of support I felt from my environment and the people in it. And this line that we're gonna talk about is a Jupiter line. The, the god of expansion, right? The god of benevolent fortune and, and good fortune and good luck. Jupiter wants to expand your wealth. It wants to expand your sense of wealth. And when you visit or spend time on or live on a Jupiter line, it will inevitably have an expansive quality on your psyche. Now, how you're gonna be impacted by this, of course, is predicted based on your unique Jupiter sign in your chart and any transits you might be going through. But Jupiter will infuse this sense of like, rose-colored glasses, but in a good way, right? It's like you're looking for the silver lining. You're looking for the opportunity. You're open and receptive to a miracle. And because that is your energetic and psychological disposition, you're actually much more likely to find it. And what I've experienced in my 10 years working with astrology, my five years working with astrocartography, is it's not just about you going to a place and then all of a sudden these things happen inside of you. A lot of it is through the environment. It's through based on how you are emanating your own energy in that place because you're being stimula stimulated by Jupiter, right? Like that Jupiter quality is active in you when you're on your Jupiter line. You attract people who can resonate and harmonize with that frequency and also who can support you in ways that you couldn't have imagined. People you might not even know. <laughs> I feel like that's a really good quote for a Jupiter line in astrocartography is like, there are places and people that you don't even know you will love and they will love you one day. It's like that is the essence of a Jupiter line. It's unspect the, expect the unexpected blessings, miracles, and good fortune. And the two times I was on a Jupiter line, my life took a turn for the better in ways that I couldn't have imagined. And I felt the courage and that Sagittarian devil may care, you know, boldness to say yes and to choose it. Now, the second component, the bonus component of this video is understanding where Jupiter sits in your chart. What sign do you have Jupiter in? Because that will show you, one, the nature of what do you really derive a sense of wealth and opulence from, what feels like a deep value and expansive quality in life to you. And that will likely reflect in the quality of experience you have on that Jupiter line. And this is where everyone's chart is so different, right? Like you could have Jupiter in Libra and it might be more focused on beauty and art and creation or it could be focused on like attracting an amazing relationship, either a platonic one or a romantic one. If you have Jupiter in Taurus, this could directly link to money or increasing your sense of self-worth. 
or even your worth and net value, net worth. If you have it in Scorpio, this could bring about value through deep, meaningful transformations and like stretching beyond your comfort zone and transforming your life in some way for the better. So Jupiter lines bring abundance, they bring a turn of fate, and they bring blessings that you couldn't have predicted. And I find that they are very powerful lines for stepping into a bigger vision for your life and even receiving that bigger vision. So where is your Jupiter line? Also, you have many Jupiter lines. You don't have just one. That's something that people don't always know about astrophotography, but